Welcome back to Milan Recording Studios. My name is James Pavel Shakras. In today's video, what I wanted to do for you guys is perform a piece that I have actually known for a number of years, and many years ago I actually performed it in a rather similar manner um, many, many years ago on my old practice piano. But today I'm here returning with the third movement of Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, also known as Sonata Quasi Una Fantasia. And today I'm gonna to be performing it for you guys, and I really hope that you enjoy it. Now you might be asking yourself, why are you playing this for us again if you already did it many years ago. Well, first of all, many years ago my channel was a lot smaller and very few people actually saw it, so hopefully I'll be introducing this piece and introducing my performance of it to a brand new audience and I hope that you all enjoy it. But the real reason I wanted to do this was because basically it's an answer to a question that I get asked a lot of the time, and that is, how long did it take you to learn a piece, whatever piece I'm playing at the time, whether it's Beethoven or Chopin or some plat, you know, some pop song, whatever it is, people often come up to me and say, "How long have you been taking piano lessons? How long did it take you to learn? How long did it take you to learn this particular piece?" You know, all these sort of questions. And the truth is, a long time. And a more specific answer would be basically your whole life, especially for an advanced classical piece such as the third movement of Moonlight Sonata, as well as the first and second movements. To be honest with you, many classical pianists will return to the same songs over and over again and continually revamp them. Some of you may know the very famous Bach interpreter Glenn Gould, who was easily widely considered to be the best, one of the best pianists in modern history, especially when it comes to Bach's music. And he recorded the Goldberg Variations twice in his life, once in his 20s and once in his 50s, the exact same pieces. He recorded them twice about 30 years apart, and they were completely different performances each time, completely different. So as you as you learn pieces and you kind of let them marinate in your mind and you return to them over and over again, they slowly evolve as you work with new people who have different tastes and opinions on how the piece should be played, your performance will change and improve over time, and especially as your abilities improve, so will your performance of the piece. And so that's basically what ha what's happened here. I the there In the description there will be a video linked to me playing this piece when I was about about 14 years old, I think, maybe 13, and today I am 19 and I'm going to be playing this piece for you again. And at the time when I had first started working on this piece, somebody who I knew at the time told me that I will be working on it for my whole life. I will be continue to learning, I will continue learning this piece for my whole life. And that's honestly really true. And that's part of the reason I made this video is because it takes a long time to really master a classical piece. And I am nowhere near the point of mastering this piece at all yet. I still have a long way to go in my mind. I am pretty happy with my performance of it, which is why I'm showing it to you guys today. But I'm nowhere near saying I have mastered this piece. I have a long ways to go. But fortunately, I do have the amazing opportunity to be working with and have worked with in the past a really phenomenal pianist who has won competitions as recently as 2018 and he hasn't even turned 30 yet. So it's going to be an amazing, amazing opportunity to work with him both in the future and I've really enjoyed the two lessons I've had with him in the past. He's an amazing instructor, an amazing pianist, and a true inspiration. So without any further ado, let me play the third movement of Moonlight Sonata for you guys and I hope you like it.
So I hope you guys enjoyed that performance of Beethoven's third movement of Moonlight Sonata. Now, as I said, throughout your entire life, once you learn a piece like this, you never stop to learn the piece. Oftentimes you'll take a break from it, you'll say, okay, I've worked on that piece for enough, and you leave it for a year, two years, three years, and that's kind of what I've done with this piece. I kind of stopped working on it when I was around 15, just kind of left it up until a few months ago. Then I returned to it, and I feel like I have made a lot of improvement in this piece since the last time I was playing it. But, of course, 
perhaps three or four years from now, or maybe even shorter than that, I'll return to this piece once again and play it again for you guys, and hopefully you will see a noticeable improvement by then. So once again, like I said earlier, you never stop working on this piece. Even though I am relatively happy with the way I'm playing it now, I always feel like I can always be playing it better, and there are many things in there that I feel like, even though they're pretty good for now, definitely things that I could definitely work on improving and getting better in the years to come. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and this kind of an answer to a question that I get a lot of the times. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked what you saw, you might want to go check out my channel because I do lots of cool videos involving pianos. I do reviews on acoustic pianos, electric pianos, and really basically anything with a keyboard, be it a Hammond organ or a historical instrument like a harpsichord. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this video. If you did, you might want to go check out my channel. If you like it, maybe think about subscribing. And if you do subscribe, Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.